This is Allison Solvin, and today on Border Buddies Step Up Stampin' Video, I'm going to show you how to take this really cute, simple card and just step it up a little bit to create this card. So let me show you the differences. First of all, this one is really cute. It's just a simple A2 card, and you can see that I've just stamped the image and then just layered it in a couple of colors here and put some DSP and tied a matching ribbon on the end. Just a bit of coloring and it's ready to go. This one here is very similar except that it's got the ribbon here is actually used as more of an anchor for the card to keep it closed so that's kind of cute and then when you open it you've got an extra little flap just to open the card completely and this is where you would write. So kind of a card within a card. So let me show you how to do this. So here's all my cut pieces and I will have a PDF with all the measurements for all these pieces for you that you can click on on the link. And I'm going to start with the actual card base. So this is a regular A2 card, but it's cut um, at the four and a quarter uh, by 11 and then folded in half. And then I've cut off a section here just to create this um, interesting fold. So I've cut off two and a half inches and that'll also be on the instructions instructions this is um, DSP that's called all is calm and it's got two sides and I've used the same sheet actually and just use one side for the inside of the card and one side for the outside so that I know that they'll match I'm going to bring in my piece that I'm going to stamp here and I'm using memento tuxedo black ink and the white Christmas stamp set so I'm going to go ahead and ink up the trees going to stamp those. Like so. Then I've got the words, the little banner Merry Christmas. And that's just going to be strung across between the branches. Lastly, I've got some real red ink here and I'm going to stamp the bird. Let's put them on the tree like that. And I'm going to take my aqua painter and just color him in. Next I can take Old Olive and my aqua painter and I'm just going to pull the color off the lid and color in the words on the banner. So that's really all the coloring I want to do. Next I want to add some glitter. When you use glitter, you always want to have a little catch sheet underneath. Here's my Dazzling Diamonds glitter. I'm going to use a two-way glue pen. And wherever you put the glue, the glitter will stick. So I want it to be all over my... underneath where the trees are. And then I'm just going to add just kind of all over some two-way glue like so. And when I apply my glitter, it's just going to stick where my glue is. And then just turn it and give it a little flick. And the glitter only sticks where you've had that two-way glue, which is really cool. I want to just add a little bit of um, interest where the sky would be. So I'm going to take a sponge and soft sky ink. And I'm just going to go around all the edges. And I want it to come just a little bit in onto the card. The other stamping I need to do is on my inside piece. And I'm going to use the snowman and the memento tuxedo with black ink. I just want to put that on like that. Then it's, just, then it's just a matter of putting this all together. So let me bring in all the pieces. So this is my card. I've got my designer paper and you can decide which one that you want to have up. You could do it like this or reversed. I think I'm going to do it like this. Then we've got a card within a card here. So I've got this piece which is 8 by 3 and I'm just going to score it at 4 inches here. And I'm going to glue that to my elastic. And you can see all the glitter stuck to my cardstock here. 
That's okay. Now you want to be really mindful of how you're going to put this. This is actually going to be centered, but you want your image, you want to make sure that your image is going the right way. So it's going to be like that. Just make sure you check it out before you glue it down. So you're not upside down. Same with your inside piece. whole thing get glued to the center of the inside. It's sort of like an inside outside card because it's inside out a bit. So that's like that. And you're going to take a beautiful ribbon and I'm just going to tie it around the little left hand side here. You could tie a bow or just a simple knot. I'm just going to tie a simple knot flat knot here. Okay. And then when you close it, this will just slide underneath. So it sort of forms part of the card, but it also keeps the card closed. Isn't that cute? And then when you open it, it's revealed and you can write on the inside. So this is just a stepped up version. This card was originally sent to me by my friend Yvonne Jackson and so I simplified it just for some mass production makes it a little bit easier and then this one is just the stepped up version so I hope you've enjoyed our step it up video today from Border Buddies thanks for watching and happy stamping